January 2004, NASA's mission to Mars is on the line. The spacecraft is ready for EDL. The entire $800 million operation depends on the Opportunity rover probe's high-risk landing inside Eagle Crater. Current speed is fast enough to traverse the United States in less than 12 minutes. Parachute deployed. We're on Mars, everybody. When Opportunity starts transmitting, Mission Control's elation soon turns to shock. We're looking around, we're taking pictures, and we see the ground covered literally covered with these little spherical grains, and this is really bizarre. The Martian surface is covered in small spherical rocks. What are these things? Where'd they come from? What are they doing there? How do you get little balls in this rock? Scientists give the puzzling round rocks an equally puzzling name. Mars blueberries. Mars is the red planet, right? Everything's red. And these are less red. So to an astronomer, less red means blue. Blueberry, it's cute, you know, it's fun. We get rid of mysteries by naming them something that we can understand. I think they're too quick to do that. The presence of spherical rocks, a totally different color from the surrounding terrain, raises the question of how they got there. Could this have an artificial source. Obviously, something powerful had happened that blew pits of the Martian crust off. Something's funny going on there. What an artificial source could be remains pure speculation, until the results of an experiment to test the effects of meteorite impacts provides an exciting possibility. When scientists fire high-voltage plasma charges at Martian dust, the energy beams transform the fragments into perfect spheres. I suppose it's possible that plasma weaponry fired into the ground on Mars could could cause features like this. One would have to imagine this massive plasma war among Martian civilizations. Another theory for the blueberry's origin discounts plasma weaponry, but supports the idea of life on the red planet. Mars blueberries might seem a little strange. We also have them here on Earth, you know, created in the presence of water. Those little shapes, they're called concretions to the geologists, and those form in rock as water circulates through it. Water on Mars is very exciting because it means that at one point, Mars was probably habitable. We've got active groundwater. That's what you need on Earth for life. Perhaps uh, this was an environment where life could have thrived. If the Martian blueberries indicate the presence of water, the implications are astonishing. These tiny spheres could provide the best evidence yet that Mars was the perfect breeding ground for alien life.